Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the preparation properties and applications of Bakelite. Bakelite is a thermoset plastic which is also known as phenol formaldehyde resin. So, Bakelite can be prepared by the condensation polymerization of phenol and formaldehyde. It follows step mechanism. Especially, it involves three steps. In the first step, phenol reacts with formaldehyde. in the presence of an acid or a base and results in the formation of ortho hydroxy methyl phenol and para hydroxy methyl phenol So, coming to the chemical equation. So, initially phenol reacts with formaldehyde in the presence of either an acid or a base as a catalyst and it results in the formation of ortho-hydroxy methyl phenol and para-hydroxy methyl phenol. So, it is the ortho isomer and this is the para isomer. <coughs> Coming to the second step. In the second step, exclusively ortho isomer, it undergoes polymerization and results in the formation of a linear polymer. So, in the second step, what happens? Ortho hydroxy methyl phenol undergo polymerization and results in the formation of formation of a linear polymer called novelac So, coming to the chemical reaction, exclusively ortho-hydroxy 
मिथाइल फिनॉल अंडर गोस पोलिमिराइजेशन एंड रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ नोवेलैक सो कमिंग टू द पोलिमिराइजेशन प्रोसेस इन दिस प्रोसेस द ओ एच ग्रूप ऑफ दि वन मोनोमर रियाक्स विथ हाइड्रोजन आटम ऑफ दि अनेदर मोनोमर एंड दस इट रिजल्ट इन द एलिमेशन ऑफ वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स सो फ्रॉम दिस पॉली मोनोमर हाइड्रोजन विल बी एलिमिनेटेड एंड फ्रॉम हियर ओ एच ग्रूप विल बी एलिमिनेटेड so all together whenever we consider 2n molecules it results in the elimination of 2n hcl molecules and results in the formation of novellac so coming to the structure of the novellac each मोनोमर इज लिंक थ्रू मिथली ग्रूप सो द सेम स्ट्रक्चर विल बी रिपीटेड एंड नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स एंड दस रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ नोवेलैक and coming to the step 3 in the third step this novel act especially in the presence of hexamine as a catalyst results in the formation of in the formation of a hard infusible and insoluble cross linked polymer called bakelite so especially uh, novellac in the presence of hexamine as the catalyst results in the formation of a cross linked polymer called bakelite so coming to the chemical reaction novellac in the presence of hexamine as the catalyst results in the formation of bakelite so coming to the structure of the bakelite initially we are supposed to write the structure of novellac so it is the structure of the novellac so always cross linking will be present between the layers of the novellac so coming to the second layer of novellac it can be represented by using oh links in the downward direction and these two layers are linked through ch2 group
and this is the structure of bakelite here cross links will be present so coming to the properties of bakelite it is a dark colored substance so bakelite is a dark colored substance it is having very good electrical resistance so it has very good electrical resistance at the same time it has good corrosion resistance and finally moving to the applications due to good electrical resistance and corrosion resistance bakelite is widely used for the manufacturing of switches switch boards electrical sockets etc they are also used for making clocks buttons toys etc at the same time this bakelite is highly useful for making telephone parts radio and television cabinets this is all about the preparation properties and applications of bakelite if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day